Welcome, world. This is the premiere episode of Brews, Chews, and Reviews. This is where we'll be reviewing different beers, different foods, and of course movies and shows and a bunch of other things. Earth Day. Earth, Earth Day. Did you tell me that? Earth Day. My name is Tetris. And I'm your boy Dez from Life with the Cells. First guest, man. They booming out here on YouTube. Where you at now? We just got 30,000. That's nothing. 30,000. You know what? I got zero viewers right now. <laughs> Episode number one. The movie that we reviewed was uh, Bright. This was a Netflix original starring Will Smith. Who was the guy that, was, that played the orc? I don't know. I don't, it was the guy that was in Warrior. Yeah. In the Warrior guy. Yeah, him. And today we're also going to review a brew. Okay? And this brew here is a uh, Hardywood Cuvée. Cuvée? I don't know. Cuvée, <laughs> Cuvée Gold uh, says is white wine, barrel aged, Belgian style golden ale, part of the barrel series. Okay, this was brewed and bottled in Richmond, Virginia. Yay. VA baby. Oh, I'm from Norfolk, seven five seven. Believe that. This has nine percent alcohol, thirty IBU. I was told the IBU is for the bitterness. It's a pint and uh. We're going to get our drink on as well. So Will Smith is the star of the Netflix you know, movie that we speak of. And I was just going over all the movies that Will Smith has had. And, you know, his best ones to the ones that were like, yeah, prime example. Best movie, in my opinion, that Will Smith has had would have to be probably Seven Pounds. Definitely. Right? Definitely. Now, one of his whack-ass ones that people don't know, The Wild Wild West. Trash. I agree. What was that? I agree. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I don't know what Will Smith is kind of a hit or miss thing because what I remember for about 10 straight years, Will Smith was the biggest name ever doing movies and then he comes, you know, does this um, brilliant and awesome Netflix show. So mm. so we we watched it uh, a couple of nights ago. Yep. Was it last time? Uh, night before last. Night before last. Look, I took some notes first of all. Um, I did as well. The, the first 30 minutes were kind of slow for me. They yeah. kind of did like a, a backdrop to let you know what was going on. And basically, like, so you got um, these orcs or mutants. And they all look shit like him when they blew in the other one. <laughs> you know, they look crazy. Like these big tusk like razorbacks. Shit. Alright, I got food. In this movie, what's interesting is the the um, the new races that they bring into this world. And mind you, they on planet Earth, and they're like, they in what? California, LA. LA. So you got these orcs, which are like the minority group. You can you can put them in with black people, Latinos. You know what I mean? Every other minority group. And um, they go by the same standard, pretty much. Like, if you leave that community to to do pursue something, like the the orc was a cop, so to the rest of the orcs, it was like he was a traitor, and it was like they didn't want nothing to do with him. They disowned him and everything, right? And then you had another race called the uh, the elves, and what what would you think they were? They were like the the, the Jews, That's right? The Jews, yeah. They had all yeah. the money. They had all, all the, the money, power. all the hoes. Yeah, all they had, they had everything. everything. CEOs, you name it, they had everything. Yeah, so it, it, and, was, uh, it was those three groups. You had the humans, had the orcs, and you had the elves. Right. Oh yeah, and then you had the brights. The brights, the brights were like the the alien life form. And what I didn't, really didn't like about the movie was that they didn't give a background to all these races. Like, if you want to set this thing in California, you need to let us know how they got here. Yeah. How all these other races got here? Because if I go to LA right now, I'm not gonna see them. You need to let me know how they got here. Give us a, a good background story on how these races came to be, and then give us background about this magic wand that everybody is after. And that's why I thought it was gonna be a show, so they could have did that, break right. it down from the beginning, how everything started, right. and then two. If it was a series, it, it probably would have been excellent, actually. Yeah. But for it to be condensed to a two-hour movie, there was a lot of stuff left out. There was a lot of holes in there. Yeah. A I, lot. I still thought it was going to be a show. So if you guys don't know, one of the reasons why this, this movie has gotten so much buzz is because Netflix paid 
Ninety million dollars for this show to be made. Ninety, 90 million. million. I'm telling you, I don't see ninety million at all. Facts. I don't even see fifty million. Facts. I see five. five million. This was a low budget film. And this is this is the five million would just be like the magic fight scenes with That's the, it. the CG stuff. You know what I mean? It. Which which nowadays people do that shit with. Oh, they do. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So I don't see where this ninety million dollars went. Yeah. I don't I really at all. Didn't. Um, and I got it. It's Will Smith. That's probably why. That's the only reason why this show is so big. Because otherwise, because of the name, you got you got a heavy hitter. Yeah, straight up. A heavy actor. So like, I mean, he got a he got a hefty grip off this, but that was it. That's He's pretty good, huh? Yes, I'm bad. That's it. That's um, it. It's it. Definitely. Shout out to Hollywood. The thing is, I feel like Will Smith's acting wasn't bad. I just feel like the writers, you know. They probably gave him a bad script because his acting was good, but it just seems it just wasn't together. It wasn't. When I saw that Will Smith had a new movie coming out, I was very excited. Yeah. And when I saw that it like in the previews, you see like these little alien life forms or whatever, and I'm thinking it's gonna be like some uh, Independence Day type shit, but no, it wasn't. I can't front. I'm a little disappointed about the whole thing. So we already established that Netflix spent ninety million dollars for this. This shit got 99 million views. 99 million people in the first three that went and watched this shit on Netflix. And for what? I'm gonna be honest with you. Will uh, Smith. Yeah, Will yeah, Smith. they wouldn't watch Will Smith. But the reviews speak for themselves. That them shit is low. Oh, tell me what they Rotten Tomatoes. Let's Rotten, Rotten Tomatoes, tomatoes. 29 percent out of 100. That's what they gave the show, and that was that was being. I mean, that was really nice. That was <laughs> I, I, I feel like the 29% they got was due to just how beautiful the fight scenes look with the magic and all that stuff. Sure. How the orcs and the elves look like, you know, what you would think an orc looked like, it was that. Yeah. It, I mean, with the costumes and stuff and the makeup and all that, they did, did a great job on that. I don't know if it's a $90 million job, but no, it was it was good enough to sell me on, you know what I'm saying, this shit could happen. Because the shit looked real as fuck. <laughs> so it was cool, so, but 29, that that sounds about right. I wasn't, I really wasn't happy with this movie at all. Especially with Will Smith putting Especially his stamp on it. Yeah. Like, I feel like if he would have read that script, he should have been like, mm, that's a big no, dog. Like on some, on some Randy Jackson shit. Yeah, Alright, so the, the guy that plays the orc is Joel Joel, the Joel? Yeah, it's probably Joel. He Joel Egger. Egger. Yeah, Egerton, some shit like that. Uh, how I said he, he was the guy that played in Warrior, really good. But like, okay, now this just that speaking along, let me show you what he looked like. He does not look like a goddamn orc. That was yeah. that was said the makeup was, that was fire. great. The, the, the makeup, makeup was, was great. Fire. But as far as like the It wasn't good, man. Anyway, so um, IMDB gave it a, it, I mean, it wasn't hot either. It was like a 6.6 out of 10. That's, I that's, that. I've seen some good 6.6 out of 10 movies, all right? Yeah. Especially on Netflix. Especially. I've seen Netflix movies, not Netflix movies, because if it, I think Netflix always puts their shit five star. Mm. If it's a Netflix original, no matter how trash the shit is, it's gonna be at least four and a half to five stars. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. But some of the movies that Netflix endorses that were like two star, I was like, yo, them shit's hard as fuck. Yeah. Especially like psychological thrillers and shit. So, so it, it makes you wonder who does who does the fucking scoring. And shit. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Who's behind this? Who's behind this shit? Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> what would you have given it? Uh, Rotten Tomatoes did them rotten. And I guess that's where they get their name from. 29 out of 100? I probably would have gave them at least like 45. 50. 50. You know what I mean, just off of, just off of how, how good it looked. Not necessarily the acting and the uh, But that's what they the get plot. That's what they get paid to do. They get paid to sit there and go to every movie and say if it's worth you going to go see. Right. You spent ninety million bucks on this movie. Right. I need to see ninety million bucks. Right. It was not. <laughs> you feel me? I need to see some money up in here. <laughs> Hell no. And that shit went with the theater, man. That shit that got popped oh, up on going this shit. Facts. Really. Facts. Now I, I didn't say this. I said it took us a couple of nights to watch it, meaning that we went the fuck to sleep. Oh. Facts. 
I'm just Let's keep it real. Earlier in the show, I said that people were not in awe. Yeah, I was one of them. He was one of them. All right? It was rad, so, man. I was like, I what? mean. So definitely don't watch this movie for tired. Right. <laughs> right. As a matter of fact, I want to, like, since we're on the subject of Will Smith, I just want to talk about, like, what do you think your, the top three Will Smith movies are? Oh, shit. Top three Will Smith movies. I'm going to go off the deep end and say Independence Day. Okay. Independence Day is up in there. Okay. Pursuit of Happiness. I don't know if y'all watched it. That shit was touching. That's a great watch. Hardcore. Selfless person. And I'm going to be whack and say... You say you're going to be whack. Because I'm going to... I'm going to just go with Men in Black. All three of them. Just just that little franchise right here. Okay. Pretty tight. I I, I believe that's what made Will Smith. Okay. I agree. I agree. Because the, the nostalgia and all that, you know, points to Men in Black and, you know what I'm saying? I won't say Wild Wild West. That shit was trash. Wild Wild West was trash, but... Yeah, go ahead, man. Hit me too. Shit. That shit good. Shout out to Hardywood! Hardywood! My three. Oh, yeah, like I said, the nostalgia of it. So, like, Men in Black, you know what I'm saying? All them old classics that he came out with. Yeah, you can't deny that. Um, for me, I have to pursue the happiness. Definitely, that has to be there. It has to be there. Number two, it have to be Bad Boys, and I'm talking about the first one. Bad Boys, Come on, Bad man. Boys. What, what you gonna, gonna do? do? You know what I mean? This yeah, 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 was hard. You had Martin Lawrence, Will Smith, and a bad little white chick. She was bad. Yeah. She was bad. I wasn't she in like one of them scary movies. She was. Yeah. Back shout out to you. Shout out to that white chick. Bubblelicious. It's a bubblelicious. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, it's a bubblelicious. Um, that shit was hard. Yeah, and three would be like I say, like Enemy of the State. That was great. Oh, that was man. great. That was good. Gene um, Hackman. Gene Hackman. That was dope. And then like you could throw in some shit like Hitch. You Hitch know what I mean? Good. Hitch was good. Hitch was good, and it had fucking Eva Mendes, bro. She fine, bro. How fun. She is so far. I love Suicide Squad because, for one, I feel like DC is behind the power curve when it comes to movies. They behind the power <laughs> curve. That's all of the video. Y'all see my video? That's all of the video. All of the video. They true. Behind the power curve like a motherfucker. So anything anything DC come out with right now is fire to me because like it's in cinemas. I'm like, bet. But, uh, what was he? Deadshot, right? Yeah. He played a great dead shot. I thought he did. I thought he did a good job. Because like dead shot is known to like not give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? He's pissed off. You, if you look at his past history, you know why he's pissed off. But um, you know the whole shit with his daughter and everything. Like he's a pissed off motherfucker. Yeah. And and Will Smith played that well. Like he didn't give a fuck. People had guns drawn. What they had guns drawn on him and shit, right? Yeah. And he was like, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? But they knew, oh, they knew that they needed him because that motherfucker is dead shot, dead on every time. Yeah. Ain't no running away from dead shot. All in all, man, Bright, look at it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment and let me know what y'all think. Man. Let me know what y'all think because to me, I was like, nah. Not feeling it. It almost took me three days to watch it. Not yeah. feeling it. Not feeling it at all. You know what I'm saying? But I am feeling this. Okay? <laughs> yeah, QV. <laughs> Shout out to Hardywood. There's a Hardywood website. Uh, I want to say it's www.hardywood.com. Yeah, if you want to order you some, you know what I'm saying? It's in Richmond, so if you're not in this area, you're not going to find it in your local you know, you find this grocery in? store. I got it at the Farm Fresh up the street. But since we're in the area, you know what I'm saying, their distributors bring it out with it. Other than that, if you if you across the globe, you know what I'm saying, just order it, man. It's some good stuff. It's some good stuff. I love craft beer, and you know what I'm saying. If you're a craft beer fan, fuck with it. And uh, I want to point my attention to this little piece of uh, eye candy we got here. This good old Thanos. Uh, this is my man Dad shit here. You know what I mean. Go ahead and give him a little something about that. Now, also, I I do love DC, but I really love Marvel. I, I love to watch them all. As, as my bro said before, uh, DC is a little behind, but we won't get into that. Go to the comic shop. I cannot help but get the Thanos. As soon as I seen it, I was like, ooh. And I had walked past it because on Amazon, the bitch was about $40. Yeah. And actually, because of the movie coming out next year, May 16th, I will be there. <clears throat> this is, it, it, it really should have been about $40, $50, because that's what, that's what it is on Amazon. It was only $30 in that comic shop. Right? That comic shop had everything. 
And I know if I stood around here, I would spend all my money in that, in that damn show. Shop. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, that cuvee, cuvee, cuvee. I can't believe it. It's so small. Good shit, man. You guys get a chance to just go into your local comedy shop and see what they got in there. They got everything. There's some cool stuff in there. Yeah. I saw a Harley Quinn head in there that I was. Uh, he talked about that shit like, oh, I swear to God, all night. And it was like, it was like twenty nine bucks, and I still walked out without it. I think I'm gonna go back and get it. I was just like, should I get it? Should I not get it? But, but I only bought some stuff though. Right? Yeah, I bought a couple comics, you know what I mean? But uh, I think I'm going to go in and get it. Because once I get my man cave set up, I just want to have, I just want it to be a gallery of cool, dope shit that you could just get lost looking around the room. That's what's up. You got a lot of fucking space in there too. Man. Yeah, buddy. All right, so that was our review for the new uh, Netflix Bright movie. Please check it out. Check also, it out. comment below. Let us know what you think about it. Definitely. And then we can chop it up. Also, subscribe, 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 please. That's it, definitely. Come on. <laughs> we buzzing right now. Come on. If you want to feel like us, subscribe, man. Definitely. Tell me, I'm going to put you on some good stuff. Yeah, yeah. So each each week that we come on here, we'll have a, a beverage and we'll have a little little eyepiece, you know what I'm saying, a little, little shirt or... Just some collectible or whatever something. it is, and we'll just, we'll just speak on it. Sometimes we'll have food, you know what I'm saying? Right. You just gotta keep tuning in, keep tuning in. I like food. I'm your host, Tetris. It's been a pleasure having you guys. Like I said, like, subscribe. Shout out to my man, Daz, from Life of the Cassells. Y'all doing good things. Peace About to hit that 30,000. About to hit that 30,000. I got me a low key celeb. Come on, this real, man. Yeah. Anyway, drink and be happy. Uh, yeah. And be married and uh peace out. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>